bringing again the problem for more chances of thunderstorms from time to time across much of the mid south. So we'll keep you updated on that over the next several days. Something to think about if you're taking the dog or maybe the cat for a walk. I don't know. Thanks to News Channel 3 meteorologist Jim Jaggers for coming up with this idea and remembering that again, the pets paws are pretty sensitive and if you put your hand over an asphalt surface at 95 degrees with plenty of sunshine, the temperature of that asphalt is 155 degrees. Now you're wearing shoes or flip flops or whatever. Your pets paws can burn very easily and you could be looking at a burn injury on things like that. So I want to check with your veterinarian. Keep an eye on the pets out there. Keep them on the grassy areas if at all possible. And if you can try to carry them over. Concrete is going to be a little bit cooler, but not by much because that asphalt again being black in color is going to absorb all that heat and that makes it hotter. So let's be careful with the paws out there as we go throughout the rest of summer. And we know of course that dogs overheat more quickly than we do and I would imagine especially the small ones being close Closer to the hot pavement, probably overheat even even more quickly than the average dog. Exactly, they're they're wearing the fur coat. You're not. Right. So again, make certain they've got fresh water and everything else. So yeah. let's be careful. Take out there. care of those yeah. pups. All right, thank you, Austin.